and fucking didn't give a fuck. She called me a simple motherfucker. She said Far some. From simple. She, she said some of the fucking most Far fucked up things, right? She pulled a fire alarm on me. Uh, and I told you. Uh, <clears throat> I hate it when they call the cops. Fucking snitches. Yeah, that's fucked up. We don't need the cops and, uh, to deal with our own shit, guys. We have to be our own sheriffs, our own deputies. And I was so desperate re- reaching out, just wanting somebody. Codependency. I was desperate. It's called codependency. You know what I mean? We all suffer from it because we are a tribe. We're supposed to be together. And then, and I got together with, with fucking Courtney. Courtney. And Courtney was the best fucking liar I've ever fucking met in my life. She knew how to fool me. She knew it was her living. That's how Courtney lived her life. She fucking. The girls. The girls have found a way to get by. And then I met Tony. And Best thing that ever happened to you, bro. I was just out of fucking jail. And I was going back up the hill. You were so distraught. I mean, your soul was so distraught. I, uh... Well, that's why he reaches out to even, like, young ones like me. I, I, had, I had to help counsel him with some shit in jail. He was losing his shit in that cell. And I was losing his shit in that cell. We she helped cried when I left. I don't even... I don't even know why I just I did I do but I just I didn't know you or nothing. I you just, guys are soulmates and we have I done didn't this want before, you to guys. I'm serious. We have done it. We are we are I fucking pharaohs. We are kings. I didn't want to go. We are kings and pharaohs. And you came back. I came back. I fucking traded off all the fucking cocaine that I had. Six hundred dollars. What do you What do you resonate with the most? The Six hundred fucking dollars in cocaine. I traded off. To come back to some stranger. I did. I. He said, "Why are you crying?" I said, "I don't want you to leave." I didn't want you to go back it's up all there. I, need to I didn't know why. I just I've I never need. done that. I'm good to go for a life. week now. <laughs> there, yeah. For real, I had showered, arrested, little little Starbucks to the face. Well, I just chugged seven Starbucks. I'm ready to go for a week. Yeah, yeah. Check the fuck out. <laughs> and I love it because I see mom. Last time mom wired me a couple hundred bucks, right? I told her I said, Mom, normally the first thing I do is go to a dispensary and I'd find a good deal on the eighth, right? I get some fucking hey. get some reviews. I feel hey, like I need hey. to in my pocket. Shut the fuck up. Bro. Nope, we're not doing that anymore. Dude. I didn't buy the weed. I didn't go buy the weed. I didn't, I didn't go buy the weed. See this you? nice ass phone that's in a case. It's well protected now and organized. That is the first thing for me. Good it's for the first you. time because usually I'd have I would get a new Skynet right, and then I would snap it in half in a moment of anger with my wife, or I would fucking throw it against the wall because I'm tired of hearing her bullshit. This phone has only been dropped once by somebody else. See that little crack there on the the gorilla glass that I put on top of the gorilla glass. Because I knew that somebody needed medicine for that. What he needed was, was music. He was tweeting the fuck out. He said, bro, last time I didn't have music, I burned the whole world down. So I said, here, bro, here's my headphones, here's my huh. phone. Just listen to music. He dropped my phone a couple times. He broke my headphones out. He broke that glass, right? Yeah. Guess what? I know that it's still protected. It's still good. Because I don't go buy fucking money for weed anymore. I think weed is gifted to me. Well, there you go. I'm glad you're coming up with ways. How old are you? 38. Almost 38. 37, something like that. I, I lost track of my chronological age because I don't believe in that shit anymore. I'm 38. I met, I met a 19-year-old woman last night who was the most capable, productive <laughs> it's female. the same age. Right? Uh, I have the most capable, productive female I've ever met in my entire uh, life was a 19-year-old woman. Uh, she called, she introduced herself to me as Sola, S-O-L-A. And I said, you know what? Sola. That speaks to my soul. And she said, you can call me Soul. I'm the only person that calls her Soul. Does she have brown hair? Short little punky hair. Actually, as a matter of fact, I have a beautiful picture of her. Let me tell you she what. Took, she took this picture of us. Oh, it's so awesome. Not yeah. realizing that you have a soul. Oh. Finding your soul. We are all finding our souls with by looking at each other, by looking within, by realizing we are all one, we are all connected. There's sacred geometry. Everything. Da Vinci said it, look. The one to one point six eight. This is a third of a third of a third of a third. Same with the trees, right? The sacred geometry is there. The mandalas. Look at this. What you're rolling this weed on right now? These beautiful mandalas. It's all sacred geometry. The star of David. If you take the star of David and you make it three D into a tetrahedron and then you put it in within itself, boom, it becomes the flower of life, the tree of life. There's ancient histories, five thousand years before the Bible was being written, of the 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 statues in China of the wolf. Or the, the griffin looking thing, it's got its paw, what it, what it has its paw on is a giant flower of life and the tree of life. 
And that's why we need to you're good. Is that your box right there? This man? is, I don't know if this one works still or not. This is a really badass fast charger. It wasn't working the other day, but we're going to figure charger. that one out. Somewhere. This little thing is badass. Ready? We need to get we're more ready of these. to send him off. We'll walk out and go smoke. Perfect. Here this right here. Thank you. You can always use extras. Yeah, if you guys have any extra battery packs, I'm trying to keep the kids charged up and my my hotspot burns through batteries like nothing. I don't have any extra. No, that's we perfect. have one, but it's no, not no, extra. No, you keep yeah. that one in. But we want to find more of these. This guy right here. That's for you. Oh, that's beautiful. Isn't that cool? That's, that's really so cool. Beautiful. I told so you I had beautiful. something for you and I, I need to find it. I, I was told that I'm supposed to find seven feathers. I found five so far. <laughs> I need some of those. We need to find more of these because look, this one plugs in, right? And while this one's plugged in, you can charge your phone, and this thing charges, and it fast charges your phone. So it's a pass through. And this thing's got like freaking three. What is it? Capacity. This is brand new. This is for your phone, though. This capacity is 11.1 watt hours, which is a good. Come on, let's get. Yep, on it. on it. By the way, we're still recording. So finish telling me that story about you and your beautiful wife here. Me and my beautiful wife, well. I like listening to stories while I pack up. I'm going to try not to interrupt you. Throughout our lives, we've, we've popped in and out. We've, like, had these moments where, we're like, we circled each other like a nucleus around an atom. We've been around each other mm. so close, mm. like, just always passing, always, always just coming in close contact. And then... As time came, time got closer and closer. We started uh, coming more in contact with each other. I mean, and then it wasn't years in between. It was days, sometimes just a week, and then we'd come in contact with passing, each other. Spend a couple of days together here and there. And then, you guys were always there for each other right when you needed And then just other. like, like, like a magnet, we, once we stuck, everything in the world tried to come in between us. There, Every there are demons thing. trying to pull Money, us apart, guys. Drugs. Money's the root sex, of all evil. Drugs, everything tried uh, to come in between us. Possessive, the possessive feeling of your mind. Don't you dare look at him like that. And I can't believe you're fucking with this bitch again. That shit that I just dealt with this morning with my wife. Yeah. Right? You know, you're out there fucking with whores. You're out there flirting with whores. No, I'm saving dirty kids' lives. Little 19 year old. I could have. This little girl got super drunk on some gin, right? I was trying to protect her, trying to save her, trying to keep her safe, right? This guy that was rolling with us, smoking us, his, smoking his weed with us, right? He tells me, uh, I think, like, you're trying to do some shady shit here. It seems like you, you knew she was going to get drunk. You knew she was going to get fucked up. And I told him, I was like, bro, I'm tired of being judged by people like you. And I was like, I'm trying to keep this little girl safe. I said, I know the password to her phone is her fingerprint. I said, go ahead and open up her phone and call her and Uber to her house. I said, call her mom. I said, I guarantee you can find her mom or her grandma. I said, she's staying with her grandpa or some shit. I said, I have more important shit to do than babysit this little fucking 19 year old. So since you feel so safe and so confident in yourself, you think I'm the fucking weirdo, why don't you go ahead and do it? You know who ended up fucking raping her that night? That motherfucker. Ended up taking her home and raping her. Right? Because I saw her the next morning, or the next, one, two mornings after that. I said, hey, princess, thanks for not calling me back. Look, the text messages right here. I believe you. You know, Finn? I need to see this real quick. I need to see this for myself. It's not for everybody to Miss understand Aaliyah. your journey. Miss Aaliyah. Hey, Aaliyah. You doing okay? A little kissy face. Let me know you got home okay. I left you with homeboy because he turned on me thinking I was trying to get you fucked up and take advantage of you. Please hit me up when you can and let me know you're all right. That was yesterday, yesterday, today, Thursday, April 4th, yesterday. So are you okay or what? I saw her sitting at Union Station again, right? And I walked over to her and I said, Hey, princess, good to see you're alive. I said, uh, you know, what happened that night? I said, I left you with homeboy because he thought I was trying to rape you. I said, I don't got time to fucking deal with cops and another fucking domestic violence charge or an attempted rape charge or whatever. I said, so did he get you home safe okay? And she said, oh, yeah, he took me okay. And then I made some mistakes and one thing led to another. I said, oh, so the guy that said he was protecting you from me is the one that ended up taking advantage of you while you were drunk. Of course, that's how it works. Yep, and I do. And I did the Admiral table, right? A couple that. people that recognize me. I just, I screamed on my way out of Union Station. I screamed, wait till I get my army right. Because guess what? I should not have left her in the possession of some douche fuck that I didn't know. What I should have done is call Jay or call Tony. Go, hey, Bravo 449 or who's, who's piloting Bravo 449 right now? Oh, Admiral JJ? <laughs> Do me a favor. Come scoop up this little girl. 
Bro, I talked to EMTs off the porch. Yeah, but... The EMTs showed up. (sighs) It's a long story. That's your journey, bro. My journey is... I gotta save us. Dude, you are doing the best thing that you possibly can. You're providing the prophet, the Jesus is out there walking the streets. You're providing a safe haven for him to refresh for a moment. Get my shit right. Get my, you know, I have a chance to sit here and organize all my pockets right. Make sure I know where everything is. Get my layers on. Get my smelly good on. What? We are regrouping. We will conquer this planet. You got your smell good spray? I will in just a second. I'm going to put that in the right pocket. It's amazing. I get my flags right. See, I don't worship Satan. I don't believe that Satan is a good thing. But look, I fly this for the gutter punks. I met the leader of the gutter punks out there in the streets. It says, hail Satan and drink coffee. Right? Isn't that perfect? <laughs> and I tell yeah. him every time I see him, he's like, bro, 100% of the time we stay up, we, we look out for each other. And I always take my jacket off and I show him, I will always fly a flag for you, sir. And that right there, I can walk into any gutter punk, any gutter punk crew. And I see them wearing black on black on black with their old black bandanas. All I while, I walk up and I say, oi, oi, oi. And I get an oi, oi, oi. And there's three other crews I don't even know. I get, oi, oi. And then one, one of them pops up out of the bushes. Oi. All right. That's and when I do, and when I'm talking to the gray bloods, right? You're talking about blue and gray? Oh. There's blue and gray security guards out there. They decided not to be stormtroopers, right? They could have went and been cops. Oh. They could have had that badge and that gun and that radio and that squad car. I know. Dude, I got up last night. <laughs> it was all frosty. I meant to tell I you. I was like, like yeah. Not to lose track of that, that squirt. Cause you can finish it if you want to. All this is is watered down squirt with some sugar. I know, I forgot it was there. I hate wasting stuff like that. And you know what? If you mix it, it's just, it still tastes like squirt. It's just a little I bit know, that's up. what you have to do. Mix it up. Mm. All right. All right, I'm getting there. No, you're good. Oh, I put my apple core in there. We got jackets. Why was mom asking for apple cores? Mm, apple oh, she seeds. wants to grow it. She wants to grow. Perfect. Because the first thing I thought of was fucking putting the seeds all together to make some cyanide. You know, Tony's <laughs> fucking heard all this shit about me like she's but you see who, you know, who, my you know, who hasn't heard it though mm-hmm. who hasn't heard it is the public who need to know who they're following That's and why and guess what we're running out of space here so I'll make sure I don't do the whole like sp- sure. space is pretty you know, get a picture of me yeah. alright look we're actually this right here we're currently recording in the background so right, first things first before we do the little selfies we're gonna go oh look at this beautiful couple live see we're not even snapping photos this is a video Live video of two of the most beautiful people I've ever met in my entire life who welcomed a Hello. old friend, right? Mm-hmm. See, I'm going to stop this video now because that's going to get uploaded. And we're going to take a nice little selfie. Yeah. And once I teach people how to properly do their Skynets and upload it and get viral, I, I, oh, it's going to be 